layer bonding properties to make lots of the mechanical parts and also aluminium 2020 extrusion so the whole thing can easily be reconfigured pieces can just be unbolted and swapped out as we go and we've got pretty much the uh, body on here there's another actuator to go to tip the body backwards and forwards and some other things we discussed last time i've got some of the electronics installed and the actuators installed so we're pretty much ready to wire this up and get it working have a look at the previous parts of the build and also my gonk droid series to see another walking robot that i built in the previous series Effectively, this is the next generation, and hopefully, due so it's another nut facing the other way. And we looked at uh, testing that with some spare nuts last time. Obviously, it'd be ideal to have the nuts as far apart as possible to uh, prevent that uh, lead screw moving too much around that axis. But when the, the uh, lead screw is right out, it's right at the end, so putting the nuts close together is the way it's going to have to be. I could put three nuts in in total, um, and that would help me when the lead screw is. <laughs> 